Okay, class. So today we're going to be talking about Malcolm X and Black History Month. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? This is not a joking matter. Boys in the back, be quiet. Stop throwing paper. Daddy, why are you going back out there to speak to people who don't love you or your family? Why, Daddy? Our house was burned down. You are giving up your time to be with them when 50 years from now, they'll be worse off. And won't care about what you're teaching. The newspaper lie about you every day and never tell the world how good you are to us. Your family was torn apart by bad people. Don't let them tear us apart. Fine. Go. See what I care. Fifty years ago, I was murdered in front of hundreds of people. Fifty years ago, I left my wife and daughters because I wanted true freedom, justice, and equality for everybody. I was only 39 years old. I had so many more things I wanted to do and see in life before someone pulled the trigger that killed me. When I was alive, there was no Black History Month to celebrate. We were still called Negroes and other derogatory names. When I was six years old, my father was beaten and killed by the KKK. My mother never got over my father being killed and ended up in a mental hospital. This left no one to raise me and my five brothers and sisters. We were separated and placed in foster care. How would that make you feel? When I was alive, black people were mistreated and murdered by people because of the color of their skin. Today, 50 years later, black people are gunned down by their own brothers and sisters as if I was never alive. As if I never gave my life so they may enjoy better days. <laughs> Man, look at her, bro. Is this important? You can pick that up. <laughs> Didn't Michael Wentz teach hate? Teaching a man to hate himself is much more criminal than teaching a man to hate somebody else. I heard he was violent. That's what my daddy told me. Why am I so popular and honored today? but hated when I was alive. The people that drive down roads to get to these schools are worse off today than they were when I was taking my last breath. More black men and women are in jail, prison, or on parole today than black people enslaved in the 1850s. I heard the nation of Islam killed them. That's what somebody on the internet told me. The convicted murderer of Malcolm X said, I can't say that anyone in the nation of Islam gave us the idea or instructed us to do it. We did this ourselves. I heard he hated white people. That's what my mama told me. How can I hate all white people when the founder of what I teach has a mother that is all white? Who was this hater and why does he hate us? When I was living, few supported me. Newspapers, magazines, radio, and television described me as the prophet of hate. I didn't hate anybody. I taught about the ones who did the hating. I didn't like being treated worse than a dog. Today, dogs have more rights than black people did when I was born. Does a cat have a right to not like the dog trying to bite him? When I was alive, I would drive down the road and the police would harass me, spit on me, put me in jail, and threaten my life. But today, roads and schools are named after me. I am sure that many want to ask me the question, Malcolm X, was it worth it?